So first of all, let me show you how to configure Arduino for uh, building and uploading with Elite firmware. So I extracted, downloaded the standalone version of Arduino for Windows. Uh, now we need, as says in the wiki, we need to go in Sketch, Library, Manage Libraries. Now we need to install these three libraries. In my case, probably already installed, but just to give you an idea, I will show you anyway the steps. RF24. Is here. Well, in my case, it's installed. In your case, you just need to press install. Uh, Alright, C switch. In my case, it's installed. In your case, you have to install it. Um, ah, follow. Okay. Is installed in my case. In your case, you have to install it. Now we need to install the fingerprint USB host. In this case, for you know, for is the use I uh, uploaded in the repo. Otherwise, you can find it in its own GitHub page. To upload it, just you know, sketch include library and zip library, and you would have to you know provide the right path to that zip file. And once it's done, you can close it just in case and reboot it. <coughs> and then you can either flash the test suite. The test suite is for testing if everything works from you know your own point of view. So here is my device manager. You can see here I connected with the lid. It's on COM26. So here you just need to go in board. You need to pick LilyPad USB and pick the right board, the right COM part here, and then upload. As you can see, it's compiling. And then we'll upload it. Uploading, writing the firmware. Voila, done. Almost likely the COM port is changed. Now it's COM6. Just here, okay, COM6. Now it will start uh, turn on the GSM baseband as soon as you enable the serial console. So here you have a menu, just have a look at it. For example, uh, there is like it's work in progress, but to give you an idea, if you press K, it will just you know emulate a keyboard injection, right? What we care here is that like net N, just to see if you are registered with some GSM network, and the M, capital M, to see if there are stored SMSs. In this case, there are two. I strongly suggest you, if there are any SMS, to delete them with D number one. D2 because the maximum is 20 SMSs stored. If there are more than that, with it will not work properly. So always keep clean these SMSs. The main firmware of with Elite, which is called you know uh, with Elite 1.3.0 etc., is automatically deleting upcoming SMSs. So in case you have a sync card with already stored SMSs, come here and clean them here. Another interesting command is B battery, gives you the, the voltage and the percentage of charge of the battery. And then there are other, you know, mainly testing features for Widely. Um, what can I say else? Uh, that's pretty much it for this. Okay, so now Widely is working. Now we want to flash it with the real, um, you know, firmware, the main one. So it's called uh, 13.0rx so as boom. We changed the title, but to give you an idea, so we do again Arduino, Lily Pedigree Arduino USB, right port, and upload. Compiling. See, you can see now it should appear again. Lilypad, 
just give me a second, say 26, so we check if it's 26, and now we look at it. And here we say, you know, call ready, SMS ready, so we delete it's working. For instance, if we try, uh, let me see, if we try to send an SMS like uh, mouse scan, should start the mouse jacking scanning feature. See? It's getting and now it's scanning. Now the the wireless mouse I'm using now should be a Logitech. Let's see if it finds boom found Logitech. And now it's sending uh, me back an SMS about that. So with it is working fine. Bye.